Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I uh, I am so pumped to open this up. Not not just, you know, to share it with you guys, but also it's, it's one of the knives that I've really been wanting to check out. So thank you so much to my buddy over at Lucifer's Blade right here on YouTube. Make sure that you check out his channel. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Now I'm going to link this down below, but it, it is hard to get right now, so don't expect it to be in stock, uh, but I will link it so you guys can go and check it out. Very, uh, very interested in this one. Uh, there we go. So what we have here is a Microtech. A Microtech. What Microtech have you not shown yet on this channel? All starting to dawn on some people. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy, it's texture too. Wow. Okay, so what we have here is the amphibian. At least I, I believe that's what it is. Is it the thing on the box? Yeah, here we go. The amphibian. Ramlock with fluted black G10. Oh man, that is cool. Look at that. Wow, it kicked out a little different than I, I thought it was going to there. That was... uh. Very smooth, stonewashed. Listen, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I don't normally like recurves, but there's something about this knife that is just wildly cool, man. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? Why does this feel different? I think it's the length of the blade. Damn, that that really feels good. That is awesome. So, so this is the production. It's not a custom, this is a production amphibian. So we have the MSI, the stitch. This is an older Ramlock stitch. The new ones that look a little bit different. But um, number one, the fluted G10 that Microtech is doing is so cool. That looks awesome. That makes me, I mean, these are these are knives that I want multiple versions of. Every now and then something happens, something comes along, and I'm like, man, I like that so much. I want multiple versions. I'm already doing it with a stitch. Uh, I after after handling this, I, I'm definitely going to uh, buy an amphibian. It's just a, a matter of finding the one that I want. It's this one, this one that you've got right here is awesome. Um, but yeah, that's so cool. This I wasn't sure about this, this little stepped alien spaceship looking thing that you use to deploy it. But man, that works really well. Beautiful stonewashed blade, recurved, and of course M390 MK. Getting some weird, a lot of conflicting information on how they heat treat this stuff. Some people say there's been a couple of reports of it being really low. Obviously that's not good. Um, I, I don't, I, I can't remember a time where there was a huge outcry for something to change and Microtech was like, all right, all right, we'll change it, you know, which kind of sucks, but I'd like to hear long-term, um, you know, reports of, the heat treatment on this stuff. M390 MK, for people who don't know, um, that's M390 with a slight tweak. It's specific to Microtech. Apparently, they convinced Bowler to make them a slightly different version of M390. Now, whether or not that means that they can run it slightly lower and it performs the same, I have no idea. I have absolutely low, no idea. My preference, right, because you can't say factually, you can't say factually that something has to be, but I will tell you that my preference when it comes to M390, knowing that geometry plays a huge role, and obviously your environment, how hard you're going to use it, that will all also play a huge role. You don't want a super high hardness composition, right, if you're going to be out beating the crap out of it. So, uh, I don't know what their reasoning is if they're running it lower, but if the reason is, and if, if that's actually the case, I don't know that. I've just heard a couple different reports. My opinion is that M390 should be, um, you know, 60 to 62, but that's based on my own usage habits. That does not include batoning, prying. Obviously, that's, to, in my opinion, you don't use a knife or stuff like that, right? So if the reason that any of these companies are running steels like M390 lower in order to accommodate for some of the more 
ridiculous knife usage habits that some people use. I mean, my God, people use a, use a fixed blade or better yet a pry bar, right? If that's the case, <laughs> don't use M390. Don't use a steel that is optimized for, you know, number one, corrosion resistance, but more importantly, the combination of corrosion resistance and edge retention. M390 is not a, a composition that was created for toughness, right? But we include it on a lot of premium knives because people default to it as a premium steel. So it, a lot of people have been asking me, like, what do you think about that? What do you think? I just thought I'd take this opportunity to say what I think, right? The, 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 the answer is never to take a steel like M390, in my opinion, and run it lower, right? So that people aren't chipping their blades. Use a different composition. Use a composition that is, you know, you're able to optimize and get into its, you know, the appropriate range, but is better for, you know, toughness or when people are going to abuse it, right? If that's what we think. Instead of just defaulting and being like, well, we have to use M390 because that's what the enthusiasts want, right? But I, I don't know. I have no idea why some of these companies are, are doing this. I, but again, I don't know if Microtech is factually heat treating all of this stuff at a lower range. I have absolutely no idea. I've only heard a couple reports and a couple reports don't, that's not enough, right? It's got to be consistent reports over a long period of time. Um, truthfully, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This guy and the Stitch have seen a fair bit of use uh, up against cardboard, which you know a lot of people say, well, it's just cardboard. Cardboard's actually super duper hard on your blade, if you didn't know that. It's got clay in it, so cutting cardboard will actually wear the edge down fairly quickly. Now, this isn't a ton, right? And obviously, uh, you know, let's say let's let's say this thing, you know, turns out it's, it's at, at 59. The amount of use that I've put into it, it's not going to it's not going to have done much, right? But we're still slicing paper, no problem here. This guy's got a thicker geometry, yeah, but it's still slicing paper, no problem. All these have been used for is cutting a couple of thin plastic ties, cardboard, medium amount of cardboard, opening packaging, stuff like that. So they're okay, you know? Um, but, uh, the way that I use knives, these should, you know, if these are heat treated properly, they, the edge will basically last forever with only needing a little bit of stropping. But if the edge wears down, you know, in just like a couple of months, just doing like regular stuff, well, then it's, it's probably not up there very high, right? I don't have the uh, appropriate equipment to test this stuff. So all I can do is just use it the way that I normally do. So I don't know. I like the knives though, you know? Uh, these are some of the nicest, you know, as far as like American production knives, the execution on these is off the charts. Uh, a lot of people, you know, will say like, oh, you know, people will crap all over Benchmade, but when Microtech releases something, you know, with similar materials and charges us a little bit more, we don't get upset about it. It's not the same thing, though. <laughs> this is not the same level of execution we're seeing between these two companies. There's some titanium here. There's beautiful fluting on the G10. We, we do have a premium composition right? Whether or not it's heat treated correctly, in my opinion, is another, you know, that's another thing entirely. But we have some seriously premium execution, right? On top of that, it's being manufactured in the United States. These are contoured, right? There's a lot of additional machining that goes into the internals. These are nested steel liners, the ram lock itself, obviously, right? Well, the comp's not like these things individually aren't necessarily expensive things to do, but to, to put them all together and to machine them, you know, consistently, this is really nice. So this guy's centered. No movement. Nope. I like this. I want this. Titanium clip too. Wish we could get, I bet the, I wonder how much these are. Is the... Is the backspacer? Hold on, hold on. The backspacer tight. I bet the backspacer steel. No, the backspacer is titanium. Holy moly! That is, um, that's pretty wicked. Titanium clip on that guy. <sighs> I doubt that these are the same price as, you know the stitch in the MSI. These are cool though. Like these, these are some of the coolest knives that Microtech has released in years. And I'm a huge Microtech fan. In fact, I looked through my collection recently. I think I own more Microtechs than any other company. 
which is crazy. Um, very cool. I'm also a huge fan of how they did not put a bunch of crap all over these blades. This side of the knife, in fact, I think is probably the most impressive. Really cool how they did that. There's just no, they didn't put the big Microtech, you know, stuff all over it. Really nice. Trying to give you guys a look at all the different parts of this. Because I know I wave it around and I talk a lot. Really beautiful. Um, okay, so first impressions on that are good. Again, I don't know how it's heat treated. I just, I, I don't know. But uh, I want to get a better feel for it. And then I will do a full comprehensive review down the road. Thank you so much to Lou for sending this in for me to take a look at. I've been curious about this guy for a long time. That's going to be it today, guys. Check out Microtech Knives down in the description. The Stitch and the MSI are definitely becoming easier to get your hands on, so you might get lucky. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.